What's up tubes welcome back so my eyes a little red had some little something caught in there today and it's you're not supposed to rub it we are going to do a little alignment on this bad boy anyway we went out to look at the fires that were going on we went up to canfield the hayden lake fire and the not the bridge fire one that started over in post falls and yeah, notice this thing is pulling like crazy um and just doing a quick visual the steering wheel straight this side is Pretty well straight, but I can tell this front tire is bowed out a little bit. We want to get this. We have to adjust that. So we have to. There's a bolt back here. We have to loosen up, and one down here to loosen up. You can roast me if you want. I'm not going to do this scientifically. You should take both tires off, do a tape measurement, and both sides, the front of the caliper and the rear of the caliper, should be equal. 60% of the time. It works every time. Ain't nobody got time for that. I just want to somewhat drive straight. And when you're riding on dirt, I'm not gonna wear the tire out too bad, but if it interests you, it interests you. If it doesn't, move on. We did spend a little time on the boat this week and just one night, watched some fireworks, partook in some adult beverages. Let's get this thing started. Sense. So this has to be towed in a little bit. All right. 17. There we go. I'm surprised that I was able to turn this by hand. You want to go out a little bit? Grab a measurement here. Now we're 36 7 eighths. Way off. Hold up. Yeah, we're almost an inch off. And there were 36 5 eighths. Let's try this again. 36 3 quarter, 36 and a quarter. Let's go 36 3 eighths, 36 and a half. We're 36 and a half, almost. 36 and a half. Front, 36 and a half in the rear. If science is right. It's science. This should be dead nuts straight. Good. The only way to know is to get it put back together and take it for a ride. Since the wheel's off, we have access. Grease it, why wouldn't you? It's turning into a full service. So we got a grease circ there. Got one here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, we got a cocksucker right up there. If it moves, it needs grease. For the most part. Preventive maintenance is key, folks. So just because you Spend the money to buy this off the lot. It's not the last time you're going to put money into it. If you want to keep it running right, you're always going to be working on it. Either they are money pits. Spend a little now or spend a lot later. So I'd rather spend a little now. As you should. Let's put the tires back on. How the outcome was. All right. All right. I think we're good. Straighten up for me. Yo, Husky, I'm afraid. Can't go wrong with it. I'm afraid. Hey there. We're done. She's straight now. Drive straight. And we definitely fix that now because when we pull those tracks down in about a month to start servicing those for winter, I'm pretty sure that's what knocked them out of alignment in the first place. That's gonna do it for this video. Do a little little maintenance on the quad. Until next time, keep it classy. Yes. More please. Perfect.
and smoky. It hasn't come over the peak yet, you guys. Look, it's so bad, I can see the flames. Can't really see much. See a little bit of smoke. So we'll go look at the Hayden one. That's the Hayden fire. We're making some progress on it. It's the new Tesla four wheeler. Super quiet. Nobody can hear us coming. That's why you can hear the rabbits. Right now that I'm done being a child, let's go we'll pick up Mama Bear. Get a hitchhiker. Oh yeah, real adventure time. I'm gonna try this fishing thing. I don't know. Can't believe people call this a sport, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. I'm gonna catch the old uh, dirty pound trout. Hey, what do they say? If you can't tie a knot, you tie a lot. That's how we fish here in old D's knots. Tie a lot. I half ass no fisherman's knot. Half ass is keyword. Seven times around and loop back through. Yeah, we'll do 20, 30 times around. Son of a bitch. Yeah, let's do, let's double knot it. Huh? I'm talking to myself, telling the fine peoples of the internet that if you can't tie a knot, you tie a lot, right? Like, I, I know half ass fishing is not. Hopefully, the fish don't judge me on this one. Oh, they got a party going on. Yeah, look at that beautiful knot there. Steady for a. Uh, Catch minnows on that. Let's use that little guy. Oh my god, we you know, get some guy off. That's awesome. Oh yeah, bigger boats get right away. Oh, correct. Especially when docking. Perfection. The only thing I'll probably catch is herpes tonight. Just kidding. The old lady would kill me. <laughs> That was loud. I'm a little disappointed though, the amount of bass did not go through.